we're on the main home screen. So to get into the programming, the first thing we're gonna do is click on this menu button in the top right. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on the gears and go into the initial configuration. We're gonna click on the time, make sure the time is set, hit the green check mark always to save it. Make sure the date's set, hit the green check mark to save it. We'll go back to the home screen. Now to get into our programming, we're gonna click on the, the menu button and click on the folder. That's gonna say program management. So we're gonna click on the star in the middle, it's gonna bring us to my programs. So these are the programs that are currently shown on the machine from the home screen. We're gonna click the folder with the plus sign over here and anything that's selected in blue is gonna show up on the home screen. We can deselect them by tapping them like this so they won't show up on the home screen. But the quickest way to hide everything is to click this, which is to select all and then deselect all. So then we're gonna click the back button in the middle on the left and now you'll see we have no program showing up under my programs. So we're gonna go ahead and click the green check mark to save that. So if we go to the home screen now, there's no program showing up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the programs that we built on the laptop. So we're gonna click the menu button in the top right, click on the, click on the folder. On the right, this is the, this is the program library. So we're gonna click that. So now we'll take our USB drive and we're gonna plug it in over here just directly under this. And it doesn't really matter when you put that in, but you want to put it in before you click the next button, which is this, which is the import export button. So you can see the folder, the arrow going into the folder, arrow going out. We're going to click that import export. So you you click the import button. It took a second for it to load in, but we see quality in at and So we click on that. So what we have is blankets, new linen, rags, rewash, sheets, towels. What is the SS for? Standard cycle. Standard cycle. Okay. So we'll click. So what we can do is, what's important is when you click on this import, something that t trips people up is when you click it, there's one selected right now. This is kind of a kind of a weird thing in the program, but it says zero over here. So the first thing I always do is I deselect it because now when I reselect it, it says one. So what would have happened is if I had clicked on all these other ones while it said zero, it would bring in everything except for that one that was highlighted. So that's just something you learn over time. But the, the trick that I always do is I click this, I click that and make sure if I have six programs here, it says number six up there. So now we're gonna go ahead and click this import button. It says imported, it's good. It takes us back to the screen. So we're gonna hit the back button. We're gonna hit the back button, star in the middle, and those just came in right there. So you have blankets, new linen, rags, rewash, sheets, towels. Now. We're, we're going to want to reorder this according to the way that you have your sheet over there. So we're going to take sheets, for instance, and select sheets. The arrows with, with the three pieces of paper underneath it and the arrow vice versa, this is to make it go up and down. So we're going to take sheets, we're going to move it to the number one position. The next one you have is towels, so we'll take the towels, move it to the number two position. The next one is blankets, it's already there, then you've got new linen, and then you've got rags, and you've got rewash. Okay, so now, if we go to the home screen, we have sheets, we have towels, we have blankets, we have new linen, rags, rewash, so you're, you're in, you're programmed. Um, if, for instance, like this SS, like if you wanna take that out, like let's just say like you're like, you know, I didn't know how it was gonna appear on here, or if, let's say there's a typo or something's changed, you can click on sheets and we can go and take a look at the program. So sheets is selected, we hit the pin in the bottom right to edit the program. So this brings up all of our, um, this right here is gonna bring up all of our phases. So that's the phases of the, of the wash. Okay, so we'll click on the pre, we'll click on sheets real, real quick. And now it brings up the keyboard. So I can take it and go, I can erase, for instance, the SS. So it'll just say sheets. Do you want the SS on there? Do you care? Okay. So towels, I'll do the same thing. Uh, click, oh, we'll click on the towels up here. Get rid of the SS. You gotta hit the check mark every time or else it won't save. New linen, we'll do the same thing. And then rags. Rewash. So now you've got them all saved in there, just like that. Um, and then that's basically it as far as you wanting to get your programs into the machine. It's ready to rock and roll. 
the customer would come up and push start, select the program and then push start. Um, it says P1, that means program one, this is the time, it's estimated at 52 minutes based on your programming. Uh, P2, program two, estimated 57 minutes for towels. Program three, 41 minutes for blankets. Program four, 34 minutes for new linen, etc. Uh, that's how it works. Um, the only other things that I can think of that might be a, something that someone might wanna do is you can go in and you can activate a password for the machine. Um, and keep in mind, if you're gonna put a password on the machine, the customer needs to know the password because if they get locked out of it, they won't be able to access it without getting a new memory card. There's no way to wipe it. And that goes for pretty much all the lines. Um, but you can activate the password by here. It says type the current password. The current password on the machine is just one, two, three, four. Password's correct, so now the password's on. So when we go here, let's say the customer, if you have a customer that have, they have a lot of people using the washer, if they accidentally click on the menu, it's gonna, act, it's gonna ask for a password. So unless they know the password, they can't access this menu to come in and make changes. Um, I usually always tell the customer, you know, the main person, I give somebody the name, uh, what the password is, or sometimes I'll even write it on the back of the machine. And then if you wanna change the password, you can come in here, click it, It'll say type current password, but you can click this to begin with. So the current password is one, two, three, four. Type new password. I always like to use the year that I put the machine in. So we'll go 2022. It's gonna ask us to retype it, 2022. Password's updated. So now when we click here, it's gonna ask for password 2022, and we're back in. And that's usually how I leave it for the customer. Thank you.